You have entered the Plumbing Business Success Zone, teaching entrepreneurs the business of plumbing. This is Potty Talk Live, recorded live every week. Turn on notifications to never miss an episode. Now your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. Hey, 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 plumbing pros, welcome to the 331st episode of Potty Talk Live. Hey there, I'm your host, Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber, along with my co-host, the lovely Laura, where we're talking the business of plumbing. <laughs> and Facebook was down earlier today. A lot, and like of course six we, or seven hours. Of course, we broadcast through Facebook, mm-hmm. so I guess Facebook is up. It's up. I believe and, it's up. Another reason we'll why see. we're pushing everybody <laughs> over to our Facebook yeah, page, or, or not, I mean our, our, our website, website, which I'm going to check out. Right, we have a show page we do have a show with that page. for this particular reason, <laughs> because the world's gone crazy. <laughs> And we want to kind of control our own world, okay? That's right. All right. It's hey, w- welcome. Million dollar plumber world. That's right. Okay. Hey, welcome to Potty Talk Live. It's good to have it you is here. Working. Hey, if you if you let us know if you're if joining us here live mm-hmm. and, and it's working here, please type live in the comments. Mm-hmm. Let us know that you're you're with us live, part of the live social audience. If you're catching the replay, type replay. Let us know you that. caught the replay. And if you're listening to the podcast, <laughs> you know what to do. Just keep on listening. Keep on All right. Listening. Okay. See hey, you I'm. Okay. It's working. It is working. All right. We're up and running. Even over. I see OK. All right. All right. Hey, April Mathis. Hey, welcome back. Welcome 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 back back. to the country. All right. Welcome back. GJ, Christy. All right, the um, Baroness. Yeah, everybody gonna, kind of give us a thumbs up if yeah you're, you're watching on Facebook. All right, good to back. have you, GB. Hey, GB. Hey, I've been looking um, forward to everyone. I, I've been looking forward to this this um, this episode. Okay. All right, this conversation. Mm-hmm. What what's the title? What what is it? The four one one. Four one one on something. Yeah. So whoever came See, up with that. The four one one on debt. <laughs> on debt. Okay, we're gonna talk about mm-hmm. debt. Mm-hmm. That 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 four letter word that can mm-hmm. be good or bad. Mm-hmm. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna talk about it though. Okay, okay. I'm looking forward. So stick around here, mm-hmm. and uh, we'll go over it. Hey, hey, hey! You've been looking fine all day today oh, here. Thank you, honey. All right, I'm just, just gonna catch my breath here and just take a look at you. Pearls and heels. Just That's right. Like the ladies of old. Right. <laughs> get, get me a beer. <laughs> yeah. It don't go like that. Good luck with that. <laughs> all right. Uh, hey, how's everyone doing here? Mm-hmm. Yeah, let's right. know how your, your week's starting out. Yep. We are now in October. October. Crazy. The last quarter last of this quarter of, of this year. year. Man, yes. it's going racing by. It, now that we live in Florida, we don't obviously we don't have the seasons so much. So right. It's a drastic season, so it's kind of hard to think. Yeah. October. That's like, the thing. Yeah. Yeah, we don't have the where you can feel like any cool or whatever. Sorry, yeah, the, the season. Leaves. So then I just okay, we're mm-hmm. we're here. So I guess you're right. wherever you're at, if you're not in Florida, you start to notice the the leaves changing or maybe a little bit cooler weather. Maybe right. sitting in. I know it's just one day after another of sunshine, sunshine and, and palm trees. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, it's such a day. Of life. <laughs> but right. we did our time in Indiana. So yes, we did. We're yes, due. we did. We're due. And it was a good time. It was a good season. Mm-hmm. All right. Most yes, it all right. was <laughs> raising the kids and all that. Yes, thank you, um, Shelby. Putting up sign up for text messages if you want to make sure you get a text message. When we go live, type the word text in the comments. You'll get notified every time. All right. I see some people mm-hmm. live here. Some people. Jacob, Bo. good to have you here. Bo. Yeah, Bo's up on the screen mm-hmm. there. Mr. Copeland, all right. Good to see you here. Good, good to have you here. Mm-hmm. All right. We're going to talk about uh, debt. Mm-hmm. Get into that. In fact, I have a question yes. here for you. Kay. Okay. Question. What is our question here? Hey, Lance. What is our question here? I wrote it down here. I think I have it. Okay. What is the first thing you used debt to purchase? For your business or just... Anything. Anything in your personal life. Mm-hmm. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll give an example. I had to okay. think back way back. Way on but back. it was 1983. GB, you relate to this. <laughs> I just got out of boot camp. Hey, Wes. I just Glad got out of boot back. camp, and so I bought a um, 1977 mm-hmm. Monte Carlo. Mm. All right. It looks it looks sharp. Okay, and I remember, yeah, yes, I'm just and I got it on my you. own debt, you know. Monte I, I, Carlo. I, a Monte, 70, 1977 Monte Carlo. So was it brand new? Okay. No, it was used because <laughs> okay. it was 1983. Okay. But it looked, I mean, it was clean. I mean, it was clean. A cleat. You know, that, that black velour interior, you know. Ooh, very it wasn't just cloth. It was Ooh, kind of a. Velour. Right. <laughs> you know, had a cassette Joe. player. Cassette player. <laughs> An 8-track or cassette? No, I had a cassette. Oh, this had the cassette. Right. Okay, so it was updated. Had the hey, cassette. <laughs> okay, I remember my payment was 125 bucks. Whoa. 125 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. And so I got out of boot camp <laughs> and was home. I bought it while I was on leave. And so then I was stationed. My first, my first uh, station was Kingsville, Texas. Mm. 
NAS Kings Naval Air Station, Kingsville, Kingsville Texas. Texas. That's where, where it's sort of pilots. In fact, it's the busiest airport in the world. I was an air traffic controller. It's mm-hmm. the busiest airport in the world because that's where pilots, uh, uh, naval pilots, first get into jets. Uh, so they're constantly like flying. Tom Cruise and yep, all, all that. This, yeah. Okay. And um, with Goose. 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 All right. That's what I was thinking. Okay. But, <laughs> so on the way down. <laughs> Wait, what is Eau de Kai? All right. Of course it was. Of course it was. <laughs> I tell you. I saw, I saw the right. Of course it was. <laughs> on the way down yes. there, I got in an accident north of, a guy ran a red light and, and uh, took off. you car? Yep. Oh. You know? That's a sad day. Yeah, it was. Hmm. You know? So, so this is the story thing. goes on. Yep. Okay. All right. All right. That was my. That was your very that first was my thing. What was yours? My, um, it was a, um, a high fidelity. <laughs> <laughs> I know the story. <laughs> um, stereo thing. It had a turntable on top and dual cassette player. Right. Yeah. And um, I got it, and it was thirteen dollars a month on a credit card. On a credit card. J C Penney credit card. J C. And I was twenty-one, you maybe thought. twenty. I don't know. So yeah. you got to the deluxe, high fidelity. Oh yeah, right. big old speakers, massive right. speakers, high high five. Thirteen system. bucks a month. Thirteen for the dollars. rest of your life. <laughs> That's exactly All right. right. Joe's asked, "Did I have fuzzy dice <laughs> on a mirror?" No. Surely you did. No. No. Oh. <laughs> you know what, Joe? Joe I'm kind of like, <laughs> I don't want to lose my man card. You know. But but I did have something similar to that on my right. But I remember what I was listening to when I got hit by the I got hit yes. the car hit me. You remember the song? It, you it was to? um yeah well I mean, it was um um dancing on the ceiling guy. Oh, you know um, uh, you know from the Commodores. Yeah, you Lionel Richie. Lionel Richie. Wow. Oh, we knew that. Crazy. Listening to a Lionel Richie cassette hmm. <laughs> and got taken out at the light. Aaron wants to know how an air traffic controller in the Navy went to being a plumber. That well, is, that's a long story. That's a long story. <laughs> Bottom line, I got out, and the only air traffic, air traffic controller job was available was in Anchorage, Alaska. <laughs> I said, Funny how that right, was open. Right. And once you're in Anchorage, Alaska, mm-hmm. you ain't getting out of Anchorage, Alaska. You die in Anchorage, Alaska as a, as a air traffic controller. Because you need somebody to switch. Because you, you switch your, right. Yeah. You got to have someone take your seat. And so I didn't I didn't go for that and was just bumming around and just fell into plumbing like, mm-hmm. You know, most of these yep. guys, Chris, I went from helicopter mechanic to a plumber. All right. <laughs> definitely making more in plumbing. So I Absolutely. definitely. <laughs> yes. It turned out to be very, very good. Plumbing been very, you know? very good. So first thing that you bought was a Monte right. Carlo. Monte okay. Carlo. Um, I, failed hey, at, Matthew. I failed at a plumbing company 20 hey. years ago. I'm about to start again and watching your videos. Wow. All right. Back in the ring. All right. Good, good for, for you, you, man. Matthew. All right. Well, yeah. Way to get yeah, in the ring, you, man. Where are you out of? Let us know where you're from and the name of your plumbing business. Because All right. Found us. All right. Mm-hmm. And thank you. Yeah, because okay. his first band was the thing he went into debt for. Yep. Okay. All right. Which makes sense in most guys when they start their plumbing company. So, yep. And cleat down under. All right. Okay. Welcome, man. Yeah. Welcome. But now, Cleet, you were, <laughs> I think you were um, on the morning workout this morning and Potty Talk Live, both. And he's down under. I don't even yeah. know what time it, it is. It was like night. It has to be, yeah. it's like early morning now. So now it's for early you? morning. All right. You ready to get, get at it here? It's tomorrow. Yeah. It's t- tomorrow. <laughs> it's tomorrow today. <laughs> it's tomorrow today. Anyway. Uh, all right. Got anything else or? No. What that's a, do about? we have any? Just, uh, you know, we, we, you know, we have all this talk about debt. In fact, mm. it's, it is that four-letter word, mm. and there's a lot of confusion about debt. Mm-hmm. There's myths about debt, mm-hmm. and certainly we've been also um, we we've, we've been um, conditioned a certain way to think about debt. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so. Because we grew up kind of blue collar. We grew up blue collar, right? Middle Low-ish. class, lower class. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely been um, conditioned on what we should do with debt. To, to think mm-hmm. of debt in a certain way. Which is different than you would when you own a business. Right. And how the wealthy think about debt. Correct. Okay. So, so we're probably going to talk about that. All right. Time. So let's get at it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Debt. The four one one on debt. Mm-hmm. Number one. Mm-hmm. Debt is necessary. Mm-hmm. There we go. Debt. Debt is necessary. Okay. If yeah. you're wanting to grow a business. Okay. okay. It's a. It's um. You know, debt is simply a tool. Mm-hmm. You know, we talk about this. You know, we talk about who's just starting back with uh, Matthew. Matthew. Mm-hmm. Okay. And one of the things we talk about in the academy and. And even with you know our, our clients and you know, getting over that hump of realizing that debt is just a tool. Correct. Okay, because we've been so conditioned to think about not having any debt. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dave Ramsey. Dave Ramsey. Maybe. So is Dave Ramsey wrong? Mm-hmm. Well, no, he's made a lot of money off of talking about debt, which is mm-hmm. fear, mm-hmm. and getting people out of personal debt. Personal we'll get debt. we'll get into that. Okay. But I, I guarantee you. 
His business. His business has a lot of debt. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. All right. You need debt is a tool. Okay. Right. It's an instrument. Mm -hmm. Okay. To, to be able to grow your business. Right. Okay. In fact, mm -hmm. it's a power tool. Power tool. You so might say. right. Mm -hmm. So you can use debt. You know, on, on that kind of you know example. You know, you can use. Um, you know, what what's quicker, soldering a whole house. You know. Mm -hmm. With what, running water lines or mm -hmm. crimping, you know, crimping power tool. You know, what, what goes quicker? Are you asking me? All right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll leave the answer to you. All right. So debt, debt is a very necessary tool. Yes, Chris Copeland, you're to, right. To be able to grow your business. Correct. You know, promote growth. To the growth. next level. Right. Correct. Yeah, if you want it, like, you know, a lot of our clients right. um, starting to grow and, and branding and, and getting trucks, well, it's, it's almost impossible to get brand new trucks Right. With cash, it just is, and right. you really don't even want to use your cash. If you have the cash, you really don't want to use your cash for that. Yeah, you don't want to use right. You don't want to use if you have cash. You don't want right. to use your cash. Who's got those, good right. thirty thousand dollars? But but we've been so conditioned. In fact, it's almost a pride thing. Mm -hmm. You know, I scraped together. I got. I saved to get this truck, mm -hmm. and you buy this piece of crap truck. You know, <laughs> and then you you paint it. You do all the work yourself. All that kind of stuff. <laughs> you paint the right. bottom of it. Yeah, you paint every morning. Right. So, speaking from experience. <laughs> okay. Um, so, so, but we've been conditioned to think that way. There's that, actually, there's this fear. And quite frankly, if, if we have some clients, some of our clients on here, that you know, they'll be transparent. I'm glad. That, you know, that's one of those hurdles we have to get over by, with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know, we tell them to go buy a truck. You know, I, I can't. Mm -hmm. I don't have money to buy. Yeah, you do. You just, or it, you know. I'm debt free now. Right. right? I'm debt right. The yeah. big thing about being because debt free. Because really hard to get back. In fact, we've been so proud of being like mm -hmm. debt free. No Personally. debt in. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. But you right. can't. You can't grow a business without debt. Correct. No big business. Well, every big big business has debt. Mm -hmm. Again, it's it's just a, it's just a tool. Just a tool. Uh -huh. But um, it's a power tool. Like Dave Ramsey. I don't know how much more you're going to talk about Dave Ramsey, mm -hmm. but he's right when it comes to personal debt to get rid of credit card debt, and um, you know, just department store debt and, and those kinds of things. You definitely don't want to have that. Right. Personally. Exactly. For sure. Any so <gasps> ooh, we moved the table. Well, ooh. Was that an earthquake? We get no. <laughs> that was a little scary for a second. Um, do you want to read that comment there? It looks kind of long. I know. Which is Matthew says, I began as a plumber, um, active duty Air Force. Oh, okay. I'm a GS service. employee mm -hmm. for the Navy and mm -hmm. Okinawa, Okinawa, Japan. All right. Okinawa. Uh, Okinawa, mm -hmm. right, Japan. I, mm -hmm. I supervise a plumbing shop. I may lose oh. my job due to not getting a COVID vaccine. Well, brother. Wow. Thank you for standing strong for freedom. That Absolutely. All right. I'm um, going to start uh, Rima Plumbing in Pennsylvania. Mm, Rima? And so why Rima? Why Rima? That'd be interesting. We'll give you some insight on that. Hey, yeah. maybe my, well, everybody can name. chime in. Okay. Well, it's not his name, but yeah, we want to know why Does Rima. Does Rima, um, is that intuitive? Do, would the people, mm. would, you know, does the brain kind of remember that? Does it mean something so in that area? Right? Yeah, it might be something. You know, right. It. Right. But good for you for standing your ground yeah. on that. Start your own thing. Get your right. freedom. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Lance says, I was freaked out about debt. <laughs> Thank you, Lance. <laughs> Lance, at Lance and Kelly Lance Ball, and Kelly Ball. Um, have been very um, um, frugal and uh, responsible mm -hmm. and um, doing very well. And so, yes, when we started talking about using debt as a, you know, as a tool to be able to grow and, mm -hmm. to their plumbing business, it, it's a, it is a hurdle to get over. Mm -hmm. It's an emotional hurdle but now to get over. Owns Half of Wyoming, right? <laughs> okay, and you look so, at it different, okay? Right. And we'll get it. We'll mm -hmm. we'll touch on we'll touch base on that okay. about how how we, how we look on it. Yeah. But let's go to you. Kind of brought this up. What did I bring up? Uh, point number two. Okay. You know that. Um, well, is it good debt or bad debt? Okay. Okay. Number two. Mm -hmm. Okay. Point two. Debt is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Debt. There is good debt. There's debt, good debt. Debt is good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, debt is you know is is not intrinsically good or bad mm -hmm. in itself what do you call that you know a, you know well it's it's just like a word you know that, if, if you're that. whatever person is money and you know the money example mm -hmm. um when you make a lot of money um it doesn't make you a better person or a bad person right. the person you already are mm -hmm. okay when you get money you'll be more of that person right okay so <laughs> if you're a giving a caring giving person mm -hmm. when you have money you'll be a more caring and giving person right. okay if if you're a jerk <laughs> when you have money, you'll be, be a big jerk, and, right? Yeah. You'll be a big jerk, right. okay? Jerk. All right. <laughs> same, same thing with debt, mm. okay? Um, mm. You know, it, it in itself doesn't make you good or bad, mm -hmm. okay? Kimberly yeah. says we used to be so proud of not having any debt in our business, and yet so frustrated that we couldn't grow past a certain 
point. Exactly right. right. Kim, um, Thank Kim you, Kimberly. And for Kimberly and Bo. Right. Out of Anna Cortez, Washington, mm-hmm. owners of Full Speed Plumbing. Plumbing, and they're definitely growing. A great um, example, of, uh, and Kimberly, mm-hmm. thank you for being transparent, yes. of how we're conditioned, mm-hmm. you know, of... Yeah, um, after they get past the fear, they understood how to yeah. use it properly, bam, growth right. just took off. Exactly. Love it's that. like a tool. Again, mm-hmm. it's, a, it's a power tool. Right. So, I mean, you can get this, you know, you know uh, a drain is, a, a, you know, um, a whole hog or something like that. And I'm talking to my guys here that in new construction, a whole hog is a great tool to make holes, right? I mean, you, you got sharp blade and you're using it right. You know, you're a sharp bit and all that kind of stuff, and you're. But if you, if you, you know, if if you know, it can get away from you and it could break your arm, right? Mm-hmm. You know, it can smack you upside the head pretty quick. Yeah. You know that kind of a thing. Okay. So you know, just like that, you know, debt's a power tool. Oh. And so. so it can break, bad debt can break your arm. Yeah, it sure can. It can break your butt. Okay, it can break you. All right. You know. So we already talked about what's some examples of bad debt. Yeah. Bad debt, credit card debt. Credit, credit card debt. Mm-hmm. Yep. All right. Um, Short of it. The only thing that credit card um, to use a credit card, it's good to have a credit card that you maybe get miles or points or something on if you pay it off every month. Right. You don't carry a balance. Right. So having a balance on a credit card, that's that's bad debt. But just having a, right. But having a credit card where we're buying stuff on credit card, mm-hmm. you know, like that high fidelity. <laughs> Stereo system. It's a hi-fi system. <laughs> <laughs> Not good. Okay. Not good at all. Um, that that's bad debt. Mm-hmm. Um, I even went as far as su- supply house mm-hmm. debt. Supply house debt mm-hmm. is bad debt. You know, I went to. That can get really. That can get out of control. Right. We, we can all relate. We relate to yeah. that. I mean, you can get mm-hmm. sideways like that. Right. With supply house. And then you're feeling the. Right, right. Mm-hmm. And so I went, even when we were, you know, way larger, up, uh, larger and ahead mm-hmm. of things, mm-hmm. I just went, we paid cash as we went. Mm-hmm. You know, it's just, okay, that's mm-hmm. one of those, right, mm-hmm. it's just, you know, supply house debt. Mm-hmm. Um, definitely, you know, we, if plumbing business starts doing well and going out and getting that sports car. <laughs> yeah, you know. That's not the smartest Nothing thing. wrong with having a sports car. Of course. You mm-hmm. know, Harley or the toys mm-hmm. and that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. There's just a, right, the right time. I'm talking, right. What was that? Right. What kind of bike was it that Kelly said? Manicotti. Uh, well, Ducati. Ducati. Right. Manicotti. Manicotti. That is like that a pasta. All right. Anyway, that's so bad debt. Bad debt. In the way you can tell, you know, bad debt. Bad debt costs you money. Mm-hmm. Right. It costs you money. Mm-hmm. You don't get anything back. Right. I mean, it just depreciates right now, and you don't, can't even make any money with it. It doesn't mm-hmm. make you money. Right. Okay, which leads to good debt. Good debt. Okay, good debt makes you money. Mm-hmm. So we've had examples already. We've kind of talked about that. Like, you know, truck. Mm-hmm. You know, buying a van. Mm-hmm. A new van. Yes. New van. New van. Okay. Mm-hmm. You know? That, if you can find them. Right. But right, yes, right now. New okay. Van. Mm-hmm. Um, new equipment. You know, buying the drain, mm-hmm. the drain machines. Don't use the cash. No. And if you okay. can, again, roll it into... Um, your right. truck as well. All right. of that, the vinyl, the shelving, the, the equipment. And right. And you can roll into the truck. Right. The payment. You know, mm-hmm. is, you know, that, that kind of, you know, a, a truck makes you money. Yes. Um, if you, you get it in Mrs. Jones's driveway, right? Yes. Mm-hmm. Drain equipment. Right. And don't money. look, right, drain equipment makes you money. Right. Now, one of the fears we get, you know, we, we hear this, fan debt, just bought another. Carmen, all right. Hey, Carmen. Good for okay. you, buddy. All right. Mm-hmm. And so how, how we look at it, like, like that kind of debt, don't look at it. I mean, some people start freaking out. You know, I have $100,000 in debt. In debt. Ah. No, it's, look at the, mm-hmm. what's the month, you know, the, what, the payment. The payment. Mm-hmm. You know, of being able to manage that that right. that, that payment. Mm-hmm. So you know, you go out and buy a new van. You know, you're at seven hundred, eight hundred dollars a month. Mm-hmm. You know, when you learn to price yourself right and that kind of thing. By the way, who pays that? Yeah, who pays for that? Who pays for the uh, your payment? Know. Van payment buys the van. <laughs> All right, the customers do. Mm-hmm. Right, they're paying as you go here. It's built mm-hmm. in your honest hourly rate. Mm-hmm. Okay, but you know, one job makes your pays for the truck. Right. Okay, mm-hmm. but the truck makes you money. That equipment makes you money. Right. All right, mm-hmm. BBay. Hmm. BB, BB, rather, BB. right. Hi, I only have van BB. debt. All expenses go on credit card for hmm. cash back points, but it's paid off every month Good. in full. Good. Perfect. You know, that's, you know. Yes, that's smart. You, know, you can do that kind mm-hmm. of stuff. You can rack mm-hmm. that like your fuel. Have your guys. You have guys, you know, the, using the card. Yeah, fleet card. Yeah, your fleet card. Well, mm-hmm. I mean, use the credit card. Where are you going to use that for even the yes. fuel? Yes, yes. And, you know, that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm. And it just racks up points, and, you know, you can use it to travel. and. Yep. Mm, trips, and, you know, that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. you know. And or so, cash back. I know some of them need the cash back Right, as well, you know, so. that kind of thing. Mm-hmm. But, you know, you got to be disciplined with that. Yes, okay? that's the thing. you got to be disciplined. But that yeah. is good debt, okay? Mm-hmm. Debt that makes you money, mm-hmm. okay? So when you're making a purchase and you're trying to think, am I going to pay cash or am I going to put 
um, have this be debt, you have to ask the question, will this make me money? Yes. If the answer is yes, it's Right. Okay. Um, Carmen says, yeah. it's human. It does freak you out a bit. Luckily, I have a wife. She calms me down for sure. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? Yes, I'm sure. It's Melissa, right? I'm pretty sure that's Carmen. You know, w- the wealthy <laughs> don't get freaked out with debt. Mm-mm. They don't, mm. okay? They and we've been, we've been conditioned this way, mm-hmm. um, you know, to, to take the pill, mm. okay, to keep us in line. Now, the debt that we have been sold on, which we have been sold on by the banks uh, mm-hmm. back, back in the, the 50s, um, about, about that time, coming out, coming out of the war, was how, this idea of the American dream. Mm-hmm. Well, that, that came from the banks. How can we get people to, you know, you know, give them, you know, have, have loans with us. Mm. Well, they sold this idea of the American dream of owning a house. Yeah, that wasn't, that wasn't common up until and, that point. Right. Mm-hmm. And so that's where the American dream thing, that was sold by the banks mm-hmm. so that we get, they sell mortgages, okay, mm-hmm. and they make a lot of money off the mortgages, mm-hmm. okay. But we've been, Aren't all you? other, we've been conditioned, um, you know, of course, as consumers, you know, we're the people, the middle class and, and the lower middle class do all the buying and mm-hmm. fighting and, you mm-hmm. know, Serving the military, I mean, do all that kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. They, you know, we're the ones that make things work, right? Yes. Okay. Well, mm-hmm. so they got us consuming stuff. That's where all the credit card debt and that mm-hmm. kind of stuff. But we haven't taught. We're not taught about how you actually use how debt is really an instrument mm-hmm. to to create wealth. Correct. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. And when it's done in the right way. Yes. If it makes you money, it's good debt. Right. Um, okay. Matthew says, "What about the very first truck? Should you be debt free when you start and don't have customers yet?" You go out and buy a truck. Yeah, if you can buy a truck, buy a truck. <laughs> go buy. Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Uh, right. Mm-hmm. Okay. There's um, never because the whole idea again is a nice clean truck. Mm-hmm. Okay, which says yes. that you look valuable when you pull up in that that truck that it looks like it's been repaired and you know you've painted on the side of it and <laughs> you know Joe's plumbing and mm-hmm. you, you know whatever. Again, we're speaking you, you, from experience. You, right. You look cheap. Mm-hmm. Okay. You don't look like you provide value. any kind of value. Correct. That's okay. all about the value. If you're going to again. You want to make sure you're in Mrs. Jones's driveway, right? right. That's your right. customer. Um, she wants to see a nice van in the driveway. And, again, it, it screams value instead right. of cheap, cheap, cheap. Right. And if you have a few thousand dollars to buy a truck, mm-hmm. much rather in cash, much rather have that cash set aside to be able to market. Correct. You yep. know, and that, that kind of a thing. So I'm sure okay. um, some of the Success Academy members and private coaching um, clients that are watching can respond back to Matthew because it's it's a thing too. And Matthew says just starting starting out. So. Right. All right. Mm-hmm. In fact, speaking of starting out, Matt mm-hmm. here, mm-hmm. I have something for you. Okay, it's for my Matthew, million dollar plumber. Just for Matthew. And for others here to watch it, but Matthew, you can grab it, okay? And it's free, okay? I'm not, not hitting you up for anything. You don't have it's, to go into debt for it. No, you don't. It's my Million Dollar Plumber Blueprint, okay, where I lay out the specs that you must have in place, all right, to create a successful, self-sustaining, mm-hmm. keyword there, self-sustaining, and profitable plumbing business. I laid it all out there for you, all right? And it's free. Simply type free in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash free and grab your free copy. So there we have it. Today. Okay. Mm-hmm. A little something for you. Okay. All right. So the 411 okay. on debt is what we're talking. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. We talk about debt is necessary. Mm-hmm. Okay. That is to say, it is nece- if you're truly serious, okay, and you're wanting to create, you know, we're not talking about having just a job that we own. Okay. Right. All right. We're talking about creating a, 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 a true business, a, you know, a, a, an asset. An asset. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you need capital to do that. Right. I mean, you can spend your whole life. Trying to save enough and mm. put enough to it, you just you won't get there. You're going to be in the truck for a long, 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 long right. time. Right. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. But we're talking about you know having you know putting some capital in play, mm-hmm. which is what debt debt is. Mm-hmm. Okay. You know, so yep. it's it's necessary in business. Yes. Okay, yes. that's so necessary. Mm-hmm. All right, and debt is good. Mm-hmm. Okay, it's not it's not bad. The right debt is good. The right kind of debt is good. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Matt, Matt is fine. I already studied the blueprint. Good stuff. All okay, right. there we go. Good. <laughs> okay, good for you, man. All right, mm-hmm. all right. So, but debt is good. Mm-hmm. All right, we gotta we gotta get gotta get past that. We do have to get past that because we've been conditioned hard mm-hmm. that um, so not to use get the out tool. Of trash. Mm-hmm. And, you know, not to use debt as a tool. Right. You know. Mm-hmm. Okay. okay. All so right. What's point three? Number three. Are you ready? Are you ready for this one? I'm so ready. This one. I don't know. Okay. Debt is to be respected. Mm. Okay, there's the thing. Okay? okay, I'm not saying just to go out willy nilly mm-hmm. and just be getting <laughs> getting a bunch of debt. Okay, mm-hmm. all right, you got to respect I, the debt. Well, my customers will pay for it. Right. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. 
not <laughs> not your Lamborghini. Right, That's right. Not the exactly. Best idea. Mm-hmm. You know, and again, to use the power tool example mm-hmm. or the equipment, you're know, like a like a even like a drain machine. Mm-hmm. You know, a drain machine is a good power tool, right? Mm-hmm. But if you don't respect the drain machine, I mean, you get wrapped up in it and it can rip your arm off. Mm-hmm. I mean, it can hurt you. Okay, that's the same kind of a thing. You got to you want to keep track of it. It's mm-hmm. a it's a great power tool, um, but you you got to you got to be aware of it. So okay, you got to respect you gotta, it. Got to use it wisely. Mm-hmm. Well, you know that we have these sayings here that mm-hmm. the borrower is slave. That's right. That's scripture. Mm-hmm. Right to the lender. Right. Right. That is scripture. Yes. Okay, the there there is a re- the right. Right. There, right there there is a reality there. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, you you borrowed someone else's money. Mm-hmm. You know. And you got to do what they tell you to do. To pay it back. You kind of, they kind of, yeah. own, you know, Whatever right. You're a slave, right? It, it's how. So you got to be aware of that relationship, mm-hmm. and you got to stay on top of that, you know, on top of that relationship, mm-hmm. you know, with that. You know, I'll give a very. You remember? I'll just be trans, you know, transparent here. Yes. You know, we had a time when we came out of. You guys remember the. Um, when the housing, the mortgage market bubble burst, mm-hmm. you know, it's mm-hmm. speaking of mortgages and debt mm-hmm. and that, that burst, okay? Mm-hmm. And we went through the, that, that recession or whatever. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, that affected our, our business. It did. And with our fleet of trucks, I think at that time we had, you know, about 10 trucks. Mm-hmm. And I got 15 days late on one of the truck payments. Mm-hmm. Remember Chrysler was going through? That period where, mm-hmm. where Chrysler was struggling. Yes. You guys remember that in the news? Mm-hmm. Chrysler was struggling. Mm-hmm. Well, what they did. Is that when the government bought out or became owners well, of? Well, that's where, yeah, the yeah. big thing, you know, yeah. Chrysler was one that took government money or mm-hmm. in the government, you're right, right. In their, you know, in play there mm-hmm. or whatever. Well, Chrysler went after cash. Mm-hmm. Well, what they did, in my, my case, well, they started strong arming. Mm-hmm. Again, they're the. They're the, um, we're the slave, they're the lender. Right, right. Mm-hmm. They're the master. So they get to I mean, tell, our, tell us and dictate? So we got this, uh, even just one truck, 15 days late. I mean, mm-hmm. I was aware. We've been good. Had no le- le- great record. 15 days late on one of my trucks, mm-hmm. they called all the loans. <laughs> so what they wanted was payment for right. all the trucks mm-hmm. right now. Mm-hmm. But if we would pay some penalties <laughs> in a month ahead, they, they wouldn't, right. they wouldn't they didn't need that. Mm-hmm. But that's what they did. I mean, mm-hmm. so, they, you know, and I, there's nothing I could do. Right. You know, mm-hmm. fifteen grand later, mm-hmm. way to come up with it. You know, mm-hmm. and pay that. Mm-hmm. And that's what they. That's what they were doing to everybody. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, thank you for bringing that up. That was fun times. I know, a great memory. I forgot okay. about that one. But <laughs> on purpose. <laughs> you know, and so th- there is there is a reality there. But mm-hmm. in knowing that, okay, you can't you can't move forward in fear. Mm-hmm. Okay, so a problem a lot of guys get into was what if the, what if the economy crashes. Mm-hmm. Well, what if this happens? Or what if that happens? Or what if, mm. well, you know, it's just like anything. You've got to keep one eye on the horizon. Mm. Be, be aware of what's going on. But you can't, you can't be like a little rabbit down and not doing anything. Mm. Okay? You, you can't. Yes. Right. Can't let fear right. make your decisions. Right. Correct. Okay. So, can. right. So, in, in looking at that, um, it brings me back to, the, you know, just be aware. You know, can I, can I cash flow this? Mm-hmm. You know, talk about debt service. In fact, we'll just, I, I'm going, I can't help it. I go off the deep end. We're going to talk a little, little bit of politics here. And just as we did this, we just had our government um, using the fear of shutdown. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, here in the U.S. Which was never going to happen. Which isn't never, <laughs> it ain't going to happen, happen because it's me. federal law. And what they say is, well, we're not going to be able to service our debt. We're not mm-hmm. going to be able to service our debt. We can't pay our debt. We can't pay our debt. Mm-hmm. And so we they get, you know, it goes out to us simple people mm-hmm. and gets us all, hey, we got to, hey, we can't, we can't do that. Mm-hmm. They can't shut down the services. Mm-hmm. It's a federal law. And we have so, we have the money coming in anyways. Mm-hmm. But they, they're going to pay their debt. Right. It's, a, it's, it's a law. We've got to pay our debt. They're not going to stop the military, okay? Mm-hmm. They're not going to stop Social Security no. and all that. But that's how we're lied to and created mm-hmm. this fear mm-hmm. of, of this, this debt service. It was just a game that our politicians yes. play to right. get their own little right. piece of the pie, Whatever. okay? Mm-hmm. All right? So, all right. Mm-hmm. But that's in our business. we got to look at in a similar kind of a way. Do I have, you know, kind of, you got to look at if worst case, okay, mm-hmm. can I service my debt? Yes. And we got a lot smarter after that episode. So oh, with that. The, the well, that was one of the times we. I still mm-hmm. had some um, uh, parts of uh, uh, supply house debt mm-hmm. with that, and was still, I still was kind of toying with that. Mm-hmm. And through that, that's when I decided. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we got a lot smarter. Right. I still bought after trucks that. after that. Mm-hmm. I mean, oh, on yeah. debt, I still borrowed for mm-hmm. trucks. Yes. Right. For, for the worst, with money, not with your investments. Yes. Mm-hmm. Exactly right. Okay. Be wise. Okay. All right.
So, so there we go. On on hey guys, it's debt. it's that basic. Oh, it's that up. simple. And also, what? I don't know. A lot of you guys, um, I know some of our clients have gotten the SBA oh, yes. loan um, that the government is offering. It's like the one thing they have done recently through this whole nightmare of the last eighteen months, um, offering small businesses um, really low interest rate government loans. It's called the EIDL loan. Right. E I emergencies. Right. Emergency. Blah, it's coming out of this blah, COVID blah. stuff. It's actually it is one of the one of the, the things that. Mm-hmm. Now, of course, we're all paying for it. Well, yeah. Uh, um, but, but. Well, no. I'm, well, yes and no. Well, I mean, it's actually, still a loan. It's not, it's not a forgivable right, loan. It's yeah. still a loan. But really low interest and long term. Um, but, yeah, if you want information on that, just do a Google search on EIDL loan program. And if you've been in business for uh, a couple of years, I think you need to have some, at least some history. Have some history right. there. Mm-hmm. Right. But, yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's pretty good. Great rates, great terms. Right. So, We've had our clients that have gotten, you know, That's how, a few hundred thousand. To, right. Yeah, it allows to them. rebrand and do, a, do some investments. Right. So, and that kind of a thing. Mm-hmm, go their business. So that is that is a good mm-hmm. good example. That's yes. a good And good it loan. is SBA. I'm, right. So. Right. Okay. Small Business Association. Exactly. All right. Okay. Good. Thanks for uh, bringing that one up. That's a good one. You betcha. Okay. My that was pleasure. a nugget of gold right there. <laughs> Check it out. I have them. Every yeah, now you do. Yeah, you do, baby. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. That's the 411. Again, debt. This whole is, is simple. Mm-hmm. All right. Nothing to be scared of. It's, you know, it's a good four letter word. Mm-hmm. All right. You need it. Your business it needs right it. Way. Okay. Use it the right way mm-hmm. and uh, keep track of it. Respect it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And uh, you'll be just fine. Okay. All right. Also, how are you going to spin it? I'm waiting. You're trying to figure out how to spin it. Well, if you really want to be was. fine, okay. <laughs> if you really want to be fine, you want your plumbing business to be fine. Then you need to check out my Million Dollar Plumber Alex. Success Academy. Oh, Matt. Okay, I don't know if you're in the Academy yet, okay? All right, everything. We, we go over everything to create a strong, powerful, wealth-creating machine, okay? Everything's in there from creating your honest hourly rate, you know, your flat, your own flat rate pricing, the right kind of marketing, all rate, right, right kind of branding, all right, all this, it's all in there for you, okay? And right now, you can check it out for free, 14 days, all right, free trial, mm-hmm. all right? So no excuse, yep. all right, no excuse, okay? Check it out. Simply type success in the comments or go to themilliondollarplumber.com forward slash success. Mm-hmm. So there we have it. Grab yours today. Okay, there we go. Okay. All right, it's a good one. Mm-hmm. All right, debt, debt. Mm-hmm. All right, good debt. All right, okay. check it out. All right, hey, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> Good having everyone here. Hey, as always, I want to remind you that you are purposely and wonderfully created, and you were created to do great things. So plumb like a champion. Thank you for tuning in to Potty Talk Live with Richard Bainey, the Million Dollar Plumber. If you enjoyed this show, share it now. Just do it. To catch past episodes and get alerts for new episodes, turn notifications on now. And join us again for more tips, techniques, and strategies to help you grow your plumbing business.